Oh, yeah. <laughs> And we used to hang out with white dudes, and at night, we used to go after hours. That was cool. If you go after hours, because you didn't get dope and shit. Dope was big in, in those days, because most of the niggas I knew wasn't doing nothing. Like, niggas nowadays be serious. You say niggas was winos is in the Panthers now, doing something for the community. <laughs> you know what I mean? They ain't bullshit. <laughs> Get you killed. Yeah. Trying to be cool. 
I developed a cool run. I did, it was a good fight, but in case the girl was in the happened in America. <laughs> I used to love getting arrested though, right? if you were, uh, on Saturday night because it was fun if you was in the lineup. That was like being the show business. <laughs>
gift from you. I want a gift from you. I tried my very best to look up to the sky, and then I realized I had no eyes. I was blind. Totally blind. I begin to get afraid. Afraid of the dark. I was afraid. Afraid in the darkness. But then I thought about my friends. Who have no eyesight I thought about the world to live in And how much it's nice and How good they make me feel I was not afraid I was not afraid anymore I spoke up louder I said, listen You've got my eyesight There isn't much more I can give Now tell me How do I change it? The voice said back, oh, yes, there is. You want something more than your eyesight? I thought for a while, and I thought, what more could she want than my eyes? And then the terrible feeling crept over me as I began to realize that I understood what she was talking about. Screamed out loud. I said, I'd love to give up my life. I'd love to give you my life. But I'm just a young man. And I have a wife. I have a wife and a baby. And if I die, I know they'll cry. So please don't take my life. Then I heard my wife. I could run. I heard my father say, I understand, son. Go ahead and give it. It's yours to give. Then I heard my mother say the same thing. She said, Go ahead and give it away. I give it to you. And now it's yours to give to someone else. No place to run, no place to hide, no place to run, no place to hide. I felt it, I knew it, I could sense it, I could feel it, creeping toward the door of my bed, open my bed. We used to say it when we get high all the time. You know, when you get high, you think a lot of silly shit. Right? You know, <laughs> the wedding announcement would be like, you know, Mrs. Irma Swartz announces the marriage of her daughter, Ethel, to <laughs> into a hole. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, because if you make it, if you don't make it, they're going to dig a hole for you eventually in the ground and slot you right back to mother. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Mother Earth. 